This is Yotsunan Sidyotong at WKO in Patia. Master Yotong of Sidyotong camp. And he's saying that he always taught them technique and that you don't have to go full power. If your technique is right, you can do everything at like 60% and knock people out. He wants me to step off to the side, to the outside of his jab. He wanted me to really hit his arm to like off balance and while I'm stepping over. I kind of like kicked as I was moving to the side, which takes all your power out of it. Not like that. <laughs> so he wants to kick right off of the block, and then I can teep after that. But again, it's this thing with these top level fighters is that their offense and defense is very fluid, like everything just flows into the next thing. <laughs> so I teeped him into the ropes and then didn't follow him. So he's saying when you get someone in that kind of position, you have to follow and take advantage because they are off balance, they can't do anything. So he's saying if you're very far and you're like, I want to kick, but you're not sure that you can kick, take a step. So there is exactly what he's talking about, where like you have to step for your kick. It's, it's not only for closing the distance, but it's also power and balance. Like you can't, if you try to throw from too far away and you're reaching, you don't have power and balance. He's like, if you are far away, that's your chance to breathe. That's when you get your power back. That's when you relax. But that's also what your opponent's doing. So when you chase your opponent down, you're keeping them from breathing. And then if I need to breathe and take a second, that's when I'm teeping and keeping them at a distance. He's saying go ahead and teep everywhere because that's coming straight forward. And then you cut angles for the power attacks. He's saying that even these little teeps, like to the thigh and off balancing your opponent, and basically just kind of being annoying, stresses them. And if your opponent is stressed, they're not breathing. So here I start attacking his legs. And he is getting me back, but because he's showing that that hurts, you keep going after what's working. If you get them blocking on one side, nail the other side. He's a fit dude, and you can see he's starting to get a little bit tired. That's exactly what he's teaching me. He's teaching me to stay on them and be sticky. See how I'm getting hit all the time, but I'm not, well, there I am, but I'm not backing up? That takes his breath away. It makes him tired. And when they're tired, they have fewer options. So I'm too far. I'm keeping him at the end of my strikes where I don't have power, but what's good for his distance because he's bigger. So I need to just keep closing that space. And there's a spot where I like get past his distance that's better for me. He's like, if I run away, then I can breathe. So basically sticky, like follow them because you're dragging them into deep water. You can like drown someone basically. <laughs> if you're moving out all the time to create all of this distance, it's so hard to get from far away to close. You're basically doing the same impossible math problem over and over again instead of getting past the first stage. And then once you're close enough, your options become much greater. If you can fight good, good technique, sparring more than pedal. He's talking about how sparring is more important than pad work. Pad work, he says, is for building power. Sparring is for learning timing and distance and technique and like all of the things that are relevant for fighting. You do that in sparring. <laughs> he's like, he's like, this move very good. All the refs can see it. <laughs> I love that he emphasizes that Muay Thai is a visual sport. It's not something that we think about a lot, I think, in scoring in the West, of like, you are performing for judges. 
we're always like, judges are blind, I was robbed, blah, blah, blah. Like, you, it's a sport that is judged by people outside of the ring. And so the more calm you are and the more dramatic and impactful your moves are, the more beautiful your Muay Thai is. And the contrast between how calm you are and how explosive your movements are, mm, it's beautiful Muay Thai.